In this video, we are going to learn how to add a very simple multiple choice quiz to our Google Classroom. You start from your Google homepage, click on the Google Apps icon in the top right, scroll down until you get to Classroom, select which Google Classroom you're going to enter your quiz into if you have multiple sections. Then you're going to go to the Classwork tab at the top and look at the black create plus button you're going to click on that and scroll down to quiz assignment and click that option once here we can title our quiz assignment and give an instructions if we want to once you have added a title and some instructions before you go into your blank quiz or quiz form you'll want to look at the right hand side of your screen where you can select which class this is available for which students this is available for, how many points you want this to count as, what due date you want it to be, which topic you want it to fall under, and add a rubric if you have a rubric. And remember, I strongly encourage you to have a rubric for every assignment and quiz, even if it's just to lay down expectations for what score you want your students to have for the quiz and why. Now we are ready to go into this blank quiz Google form. This pulls up a blank quiz Google form for us, where we are going to very first thing is go ahead and put a title on this. And you can add instructions or a description if you want to. The other thing you will want to do is go over to this left hand side where it says blank quiz here. This is the title of that form as it will show up in your Google documents folder. So go ahead and title that something that you will be able to remember what this quiz represents. I typically name it the same thing as my quiz. Now you are ready to go ahead and add questions. So we have an untitled question already here. So we can just click in this space and multiple choice is the default option for you to choose from when creating a quiz. I'm going to click on the other options just so that you can see what they look like, but we are only going to look at multiple choice for the purpose of this particular training. You do have the option for short answers, paragraphs, check boxes, which allow you to make multiple selections, and then you have a few other options as well. So we're going to stick with multiple choice. So let's just come up with an easy question. Once you have your question, you will want to check to make sure that it has not switched the type of question you are asking. This switched me to short answer, which is not what I want. I wanna go back to multiple choice. I'm gonna go back and select multiple choice. And on option one, I'm going to put red. I'm gonna add another option and say blue. Add another option and say green. And I'm ready to add my answer key. So I'm gonna click on answer key. And the correct answer we'll just say is blue. And this counts for one point. And then we'll select done. And then that question has been recorded. When we're ready to create another question, just like you create most things on Google Classrooms, you use this plus sign icon to create a new question. So we're going to create a new question. It automatically populates below the question you've already created. So you can see I've just gone through the same steps as before. I'm going to click done. And let's say I want this second question to actually be my first question. And I've done them out of order. You don't have to erase and start over see these six dots here and see how it turns into one of those movement icons you can take that those six dots and drag your question to wherever you want it on the quiz and it automatically will move to that position now because google docs and google classroom and google forms and all things google save automatically you do not have to push a save button all you have to do now is just X out of the tab at the very, very top of your screen. It is not shown on this particular training screen, but it will be on yours. 
just click out of the Google form and it will take you back to your Google Classroom and we're just going to click Assign. Now I wanted to show you this. I didn't assign it to a topic on purpose because the functionality of Google Classroom and Google Docs is pretty much the same across the board. So remember how we dragged and dropped that quiz question? You can do the exact same thing with assignments and forms and things like that. So this where it says, how well do you know your teacher? That's the quiz that we just created. I don't want that there. I don't want that at the very beginning. I don't want it just floating. So I wanna add it to my assessment. So I'm literally gonna drag and drop it under assessments. And there it is. Hopefully this video has allowed you to see how to enter simple quiz assessments into your Google Classroom, how you don't have to save your form, it automatically saves. As long as you give it a title, it will show up in your Google Drive. So happy quiz making, and I'll see you on the next video.